honestly, entrepreneurs are entrepreneurs are entrepreneurs. Doesn't matter where you are, how old you are, wherever you are in the world, they are pretty much all the same. The only difference is the support that entrepreneurs get. And of course, support is like nurturing for any child, for any company, it's all the same thing. The more support you get from the ecosystem, the more able you are to tackle. What I would observe as a distinction is that entrepreneurs in the US grow up with an entrepreneurial DNA in most cases. They find that when they go to university, they have the opportunity to become anything. They may be trained in a bachelor's or a master's or an MBA, but that's not the same in the rest of the world from what I found. Even in Australia, you go for a three-year undergraduate degree to get a skill to get you the ticket to play in the market. If you're in the UAE or if you're in Palestine, you go for a technical degree typically. But the entrepreneurial juice that's different is in the Gulf region, most of the people are family businesses. And therefore, the father or the male figure in the family normally leads the businesses. In the US, you normally are given the opportunity to set up your own venture. Here, it's much more family affiliated. But what's interesting is, in the Gulf region alone, we've got one challenge that the rest of the world does not have, like the US. The average age across the Gulf is 24. Every year, there will be 10 million new employable age workers. There are only 1 million jobs. So the Gulf region is going to have to create 9 million entrepreneurs per year to not create people that are out of work. And so first and foremost, I think the most obvious difference is that the, the entrepreneurs in developing economies have much less things to lose, right? They still have things that they could, they could fail and fall back on, but they have much less to lose and much more to prove, right? Uh, the opportunity for them to make the great leap forward in terms of jump, making the middle class, jumping and crossing the middle class divide is, is a big lure. And having so little ahead of them in terms of legacy companies, opportunities, you know, processes, being able to break through, you know, because they have so much less to lose, they're able to make leaps and, and take stats in directions that I think developed country entrepreneurs often find much harder to. They also have a very different perspective on ideas uh, and go to market that I find very, very heartening and very interesting as an investor because you know, the world's changing so quickly and you want to really be blending both the developing country perspectives and the developed country perspectives to, to find new growth opportunities and new, new uh, you know, investment opportunities.